Bonjour. Kinemagi and Nene Ireland Dishnikas, and welcome to this overview of our week 20 learning plan. As always, we'll begin here in our fifth grade Google Classroom on the stream page. This is what your students see when they log in. Uh, if you do not have a Chromebook, it is actually fairly simple to log in using your Chrome browser. If you log in and they have a sagchipschool.net, you can see mine right there. Once they do that, there's the waffle. You click on it, they could choose Google Classroom. Uh, I know at least on the iPhone, and I'm assuming in the Android stores, they will also be able to download Google Classroom if a student wanted to access it outside of the school day. On the stream page, there's always an easy way to log in where they could just click on it and email me. I don't mind at any time that I'm emailing. If you have a question, I will respond as soon as I can. And we also have my Google Voice account. I have a newsletter published and we have January's breakfast and lunch menu. That's also emailed to you at the end of the month so that you know what's coming and you'll notice that there's pretty much a pattern to it. Two quick things to touch on this morning. First is our newsletter, and this was sent home on Friday, and you already knew that we were closed yesterday in honor and recognition of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. I also would like to point out that Wednesday, which is tomorrow, will be a half day with a noon dismissal. If your student rides the bus to the gym after school, they will need to be picked up here at SCA at noon. Lunch will be served. Another important point is we are beginning NWEA testing this week. That means our students will have a chance to show their growth in both language arts and math. We will be testing tentatively on those two days, most likely in the morning. It's really important that your student gets a, a decent night's sleep as it's much more of a struggle when you're tired, to be honest with you. And I know some of our students love to stay up a little bit later than I, but again, I'm old, I fall asleep early. Um, are, we wanna strive to the students that to do their best. It's not about comparing one student to another, it's comparing a student to where they are now to where they were in September. Also, a couple more important details. Uh, winter is here, I think, maybe. Uh, that means students should come to school dressed for the weather. I know some of our students love to leave coats at home, but if you can make sure that they have something with them as a lot of them ride the bus and it can be chilly or if something happens, we don't want them standing in the cold. Plus, it's also a good idea to send students with an extra pair of clothes that they can keep in their locker. As students love to play in snow when it's there. And it is not comfortable being wet. And it also save you having to receive a phone call from your student asking for more clothes. We are still continuing to mask in the classroom. And if you notice that I was not masked when the video started, it's because I'm the only person in the building. But we are obligated to try to keep each other safe. And we are doing that via masks in all places in the school and on buses. The only place that masks are not required is outdoors. Let's look at this week's learning plan. We are doing a graded week on with the blind courage of Eric Weyenmayer. So he'll have a chance to earn some grades right off the bat here in the third quarter. If you're unaware, the second quarter ended on Friday. That means report cards will be coming relatively soon. And in our next episode, we'll talk a little more about that. We're continuing with Writing City. Today is a catch up day. And then we'll be working on units 3B, day four and five later this week. Math, we're starting a new chapter comparing fractions and decimals. Science this week, we're looking at some other materials such as Science Bin and using Science A to Z. 
this is due to the shorter week and NWA testing wasn't a good idea to try to do the next mystery and hope to get it all in. Social studies, we're going to look and discuss that and discuss the I Have a Dream speech today. And then we'll be beginning chapter five, the lead up to the revolution. We're going to continue with math review and enrichment this quarter as we continue to try to help students cement the skills that we've covered earlier in the year. Really, the goal is to have them with a very good grasp of all of these skills before we send them off to middle school in just a half a school year now. Tech, we're going to resume with 21 things for students. We'd kind of been off of that for a little bit as other things were taking the time. And then we, one note at the bottom, I have opted to not do the citizenship this week with only three days. I like to review a little bit more than that. So we might just take the time to review some older ones, but there won't be a quiz on it. That'll wrap up our week 20. And as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to me at mireland at sagchipschool.net. I will reply as soon as possible. I hope everyone has a great week and it's a safe and healthy week. And we'll look forward to another episode later this week. Miigwech. Bye, my